It's ten past five in the morning. We didn't go to Cappenwoods last night because we got there and we saw the, the cross bound and left on the floor. We thought it was a bit of a warning sign. And I was very upset at the decision not to go in. You, you, yeah, you definitely split the group, yeah. uh, two and two. But they said that that area makes people paranoid anyway. But when you know what, I, I, I did think that when we got back, but it, we were so argumentative between us. We were. Um, and paranoid. I thought that as well. That's exactly what the guy warned us about. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, we were so like adamant of not being like that. Yeah. That we totally forgot. But one thing I will say, coming back, I was very like I wanted to go in, but you came back and you did a bit of extra research, and someone literally said that like people in this area do not like people going in there. Yeah. So people did see us. He said people, if they see you in the day with a camera, no dog then they're bound to get upset and it's the kind of place where news travels. Yeah. So it could easily be someone thinking, I don't want this place to get a bad reputation and going and doing it just to basically scare us. Or to so give I don't want to have a bad reputation, evidence. but let's give a bad reputation anyway. Maybe it was just to keep us out, right? So if we're going back now, I think the first thing we need to do is literally jump out of the car, see if the cross is still there, see if it's yeah. been moved, and then go in and just see what we can find. Because the creepy thing for, the, like, creepiest thing for me, like let alone the cross, was I know the camera didn't pick it up, but it was the music. Like for me, it felt like there was definitely some form of ritual going on somewhere within the woods. Because it, it was only me and you that heard the music. Yeah. It was like probably creepy. I can't like, hear it, I think I'm crying. <laughs> It's like the creepy, like medieval-esque music. So are we saying now, um, are we going driving straight back up to the top again? Or are we going to yeah, yeah, yeah. come, all right, fine, fine. So, yeah. I feel like we have to be ready to escape. <laughs> Do you know what, I feel, I feel like the same, but I think, again, I'm just nervous now. If we go back to that little bit we were at yesterday where we saw like the wall and we were like, oh, this is the very ritual place and it's different, then it's going to be weird. It'll be creepy as, but, yeah, let's go and see. Find out. Too bad, but when we turned up in the morning, there was like a group of people doing like gardening or something. They were bare screwing us out. Yeah, we got really? to Really? Yeah, bare. But that guy said they don't like people coming up here. But imagine you were just going Everyone for a walk. Everyone like said it, that guy on their website said it. Yeah, that's sort of getting interesting because if Martin was just like, yeah, they're just a bit strange, but like, but then the women at least spoke to seemed pleasant enough. Like, you know, like, they've got to do friendly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. What does it say? Where? That church sign. It's just. Oh, look at the crows. Yeah, that's Have a look if the marked sheep is still there. <laughs> yeah, he's there. He's just jamming. Oh. Oh. Kill a bird or something. Okay. As soon as we pull up, we need to get out and just see if that cross is there. Okay. So I'll take a start filming now. Sorry, yes. I just filmed the whole time. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, I think my heart's going. and we've moved it. That's more now the people living in there, camping in there, trying to warn people off, or it's kids trying to mess with people. Maybe, mm. like, we need to see. So I see that as worse. You never know, it's still going on. Maybe it finishes it's at six. Still early. Can you smell that? Smell what? It smells like burning. I can't. I can't pick up any burning, but mm. I'll take your word on that one. All right, I'm just going in. We know where we're going now, so we're going to go up to the crossroads. We're just going to go up straight to the little hut that we saw earlier. Um, it's actually really peaceful what you need to do earlier. So this is the crossroads, right? 
Yeah, so this is why I feel like we should come in at least this bowl. Oh, uh, yeah. Drowsy. You feel really drowsy? Mm -hmm. We had that yesterday. So one of the first things we're going to do here before we um, investigate is I'm going to do the cake nail ritual. I'm just going to leave my speaker there. So we can catch anything. So we're going to put that in. I'm going to put that in. So as part of the cake now, you bring an offering of bread and alcohol and you leave it for whatever might be here as a peace offering. So we're going to leave that now. So if anything did happen here, hopefully it would be not angry with us. Um, so we're going to leave this there, put the cake in there, find a spot. compared to yesterday that that fire pit has been used whether it's just like people camping out or whether it's like this an actual really been destroyed. this is this is a proper hut this looked like that like there, this there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah it, looked, it, was a, it had a top and everything it's a proper hut and it's been destroyed and i mean it's funny because look that is bloody candle lights and they've used pens as fuel yeah um I mean, there's even a, a plastic bowl littered. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So maybe so as people I think come and had is, a jolly up there. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. And put the cross down to spook people from coming up. Yeah. I mean, maybe look out Which for worked. Like, yeah, maybe look out for like cigarette Sorry. bites. Or Which worked. Yeah, yeah, it did work. Yeah, it did. But we, it worked because we had experience in the day and we paranoid. Nice. Which is fresh. Is that how? Like, how is it still there? Because it's really cold. It's not freezing cold temperature. Are you sure it's ice, not glass? It could be glass. I think that's glass. Don't step on it in case it's ice. Yeah, it's all around glass. This could be the perfect opportunity to use the official Project X Ouija board. Available online now. I don't know if it is available online now, but <laughs> we have we, we've made our own Ouija board. Yeah. Some it's the everything Project X is ghosts. Mysteries, murders, and aliens. And right, two fingers on either side, and then we have to ask you a question. Would you like to start, or would you like me to start? You can go. So, is there anything here that would like to communicate with us using this Ouija board? Is there anyone here that would like to speak to us and let us know that something happened here last night that was mysterious, dark, or in some way unearthly? Is there anybody here? <laughs> that is, it is what it is. Would you like us to leave? Nobody here. That, let's move it to the goodbye just to show that it okay. does actually move. It moves fairly easy across the surface, so if there yeah. was something that wanted to move it, it could move us. Would you stop back? No. Why? Because I think it's a noise with a bag or something.
doesn't look like there's any uh, activity over here. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's been in this part, so... But on that website, that was supposedly the altar. Is that what That it specific was? one there. Yeah. What yeah, about the wool? The wool, let's have a look if it's over there still. Well, like, we're, you're scattered everywhere. It's, it's over, in that, over on the floor there. It's still there. I don't really know, it's, not, uh, it's a bit flat now. I, I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe I was expecting to see like someone hanging in the trees or like, <laughs> blood all over the walls. Or... But if you were doing something, you were cleaning up. You'd take the audacity. Yeah. But the thing is, that is very much tea lights and someone's like, not, it's not really a When we went to Minster and the fire had been started, left charcoal ground, yeah. that's someone there. Like To me, that's like a kid that's come up with like a girl to scare her and he maybe put the cross there before he came to be like, oh it's spooky and then they've sat up here and nothing. That's like a proper scout's knot. Like I know that's like digging into detail. Yeah. But that is made to like perfection. It was very well made. But like you said that could have been that got like, if someone is living in here. Yeah but also these things are made so so well that you just think unless it was a really good scout hut around here. Yeah. Um, so we're collecting the sound recorder now and We've left this here. I actually feel like we should have maybe done this in another place now, because all the evidence here seems to be like someone was just having a jolly up here and made a few practical jokes. But we'll take the recorder anyway and see what happens. And um, it was 15 minutes on there, so hopefully something was caught. We will leave them because I don't want to offer it and take it. But yeah. maybe as we walk past, collect. Pardon? As we walk back, collect it, maybe? Yeah, can be. Well, so what's the plan now? Go down towards the bench in that way. Cool. I don't know what that sounds really Use the board again. Here. And see if this is the bit where we all felt most uncomfortable yesterday. So we'll try and see. If not, then off back to the church where we found our little thing. Say sorry to my man. Yeah. This is great woods to film a horror film. Oh yeah. Nursery. Okay. If there's anything here that would like to speak with us or communicate with us, please. That's no no. Is there anyone or anything here that would like to communicate with us? We'd like to speak to you if you're here. We can talk about anything you like. Please, talk to us. Is there anybody or anything in this woods? <laughs> I think it's a dud. This definitely doesn't work. Let's move yeah. it to goodbye and say goodbye. Yeah. But it does, like just to just to prove like, it does move easily, it's not. It feels weird. I don't know if you're supposed to do that though. I do see people doing it at the start, but I can't see what that achieves. Is there anything here? <laughs> I feel like with Ouija was a lot of the time people do go. Yeah, I do. I think there's always one idiot in every group that manipulates it. Manipulates it. Um, Sammy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. There's always someone that wants the evidence, so the other one that always does it. So, again, we don't know. This is our second time we've used one. 
one V tied a hundred times, then maybe we can debunk them. But in terms of here, it hasn't worked. It would be interesting to do a recording while we're doing that. That is a very good point. See if they like, talk instead. That's a very, very good point. I don't know where I put the recorder. Oh, it's in my pocket. Okay, let's head. I guess oh. we'll head out now. It looks, we're literally just about to exit. And it looks like someone's moved across. But I haven't had anyone in here. I haven't heard or seen anyone. And we've literally covered the whole thing in a circle. Do you, do you want to go ahead and just double check that it has been moved? It's definitely gone before. I don't want to get ahead. Oh no, it's moved to the side. Oh. Okay, it's not gone. It's still weird. Here's a, but I haven't seen any of it. This is what I mean. The people that earlier, they could, maybe someone across the way did it. We should check our footage tomorrow and Imagine see. And see if. Um, this um. is like laying here when we came in yesterday and we didn't notice. And it's just been moved, like someone just back, moved back and forth like an open and unopened sign at the night, maybe. I feel like we definitely would have spotted it. Yeah, so but you're right. right, you're right. We definitely let this look back. And so where do we need to go now? And there's no other cars here. That is odd. Okay. Maybe I'm letting a car like, get out. Can we check for that? There is no. Leave whilst you can. Um, okay. Uh, do you want to take us through to the church, through to the adventure? So we've just come to apologise for um, yesterday when we stood on or had our feet on your grave. We heard your message. Um, if you accept our apology, please do let us know now. It was just a, an error, wasn't it? Indeed. And again, if there's anything you'd like to say to us before we leave, please make it known now. And I think that's all we can say, really. This is a big session. No disrespect was meant. Yeah. No, it was not. And as you say, if you've got anything left to say, please, please say it now. now. Oh, may you rest in peace. Twenty-four hours since Clappenwood. Indeed. Um, Twenty-four hours since, and we've just finished editing the video, and the activity has been. Continuing, it, I think. It's the craziest one. Like, I know we say every single one that we've done, like this has been the maddest one, but this has genuinely been the craziest one Yeah, I think we've encountered so far. So it's 24 hours later, but we were there for a long period of time yesterday. We went back in the evening, we decided not to investigate. We went back six hours after we decided not to at 5 a.m. this morning. Spent a couple hours there, then headed back, and we've literally just been cutting the video together all day today. Mm -hmm. um, and it's fair to say, let's just talk about when we got there. We were in high spirits in the car. There's one thing we really tried to keep up because Martin had suggested that you have to go in happy, so we really did. Yeah. We really made sure we were all in high spirits. And the moment we got there, I felt weird. I got the I got a brief like a migraine and I felt strange. Well I think even even before like as we drove into the, the kind of cul de sac, uh, as people describe it, like instantly Martin wasn't wrong, like you're not wanted there. For sure. Um like there were a group of like maybe like five, six people doing like got like gardening their front garden or whatever they were doing. And trimming some hedges. Yeah. <laughs> and as soon as we pulled up, they kind of stopped what they were doing amongst themselves and looking around like they didn't know the car, they didn't know us, and they made it very evident, like, what are you guys doing here? Yeah. So I think we definitely felt that instantly, um, and then I remember, like, you pretty much started complaining very quick about your head. Yeah, so I had to feel very, very ill, very, very sick. At one point where it felt like someone seriously would be, like, put in there, like, fisting me almost <laughs> in the stomach and twisting. And it, well, it the weird thing is, like, when we got to the bench, that's what I happened. had, the, yeah, and I had yeah. the exact same feeling. And I felt like my nose was going to bleed at one point when I was there as well. And this is the first one where we have evidence from somebody personal evidence before we go in so maybe we were expecting that and yeah. um, it's 
half psychological. I made a conscious effort to not feel any like any yeah. type of way, just because I felt normal the whole yeah. way, like well, most of the way, uh, and I tried to keep that consistent. And it wasn't until we got to that bench bit where you really felt something go wrong. It, even when we got to that bit, there were a few punters just there, like dog walkers or yeah. whatever else, and even them, they instantly looked at us. They, it was weird, but people sort of. Usually people go out of their way to avoid people. These people went out of their way to come and almost examine us. Yeah, that like, is the exact word, the yeah. exact word. And that one lady popped up immediately and started asking questions when we were in the church. It was just weird. It mm -hmm. was definitely like, you. what are you doing here? And I think we, back at the hotel, after you started doing some research, which um, was somebody else who'd been here, and he said like, don't come without a dog, don't come yeah. carrying just a camera, don't we, come in. We basically ticked all the boxes of things not to do. Yeah, yeah. we were very noticeable. Um, and then we got into the woods, we tried our best to be respectful, we weren't loud, and we then we came across that. Well, actually, let's talk about just before we came across that part. Um, you know, we'd all been in the car for quite long, mm -hmm. we've been we've been drinking snacks and uh, drinking and eating snacks, and we all needed a bit of relief so we all we all used the toilet well you did and i did yeah we, we, we used the loo um not that it was a loo we used nature um <laughs> and uh elise who, who was on the camera she said i need to go um now do you mind if just went here while you go off track and while she went we suggested that maybe she went well she, while she was was that big tree that people say is haunted and we didn't tell her because we thought that's quite funny and mm. we said while she's doing that we'll do some calling out sessions so we took our microphone out and we did some calling out and then she came sort of running back and she said um like i know i can't do it. i'm not comfortable here and then she said i heard you throw a rock and we were like we haven't thrown a rock mm. and she said oh uh, like she thought we'd were playing tricks yeah. and we we're like we really hadn't we didn't catch anything on our recording that time to suggest that there was we did hear anything but as we then moved up to the part where she said she had the rock that's where we came across the what i will call for now as the ritual site yeah 100 percent. like it all added up and the common theme we keep finding with the places we believe rituals are happening is with the bundle of sticks the kind of fire pit with the, the stone so circle. circles um and this was weird like it had the the, the wall the sheep's wall which just kind of spread about yeah and i mean like the rationale of it is it could have been blown in the wind from mm. the kind of nearby farms but one why that area area um and two there was just so much of it like it doesn't make sense for so much of it to have blown into that specific yeah. spot we did some voice box stuff there didn't hear anything and we carried on to move on and again that was where i started i didn't feel the sickness and the headaches up and that's where I felt like I was being watched. That's mm. what the paranoia is saying. And it did. Every time I turned I felt like I'd seen someone in in the, the brush a little bit further on just yeah. lean away. Like it really did feel like someone was walking behind you watching you. Yeah. It had been heavily implied to us that there was a lot of activity in the church. So we went around and we sat on that bench and we weren't even going to film it at this point. We were just lucky that um, the camera was rolling because we, we'd gone off by ourselves mm. um, while B-roll was being collected and we sat down with a spirit box and that's when we got our you're standing on my grave. God, You're standing oh, over my grave. It's so scary when we figured it out. Oh my god. And it's just the way it made sense because we looked at the picture, your foot was on the grave. Yeah. Um, and it was when we said, like, we, we were getting ignored every question up until right in the end. The last bit was if you have anything else to say, and Martin did say, like, experiences and ghosts, whatever you want to call them, can be like uh, kind of humorous and play yeah. tricks and whatever else. It wasn't until you said you could like anything left to say yeah. that kind of quote was said, and it's yeah. whether they said it in an angry way or a funny yeah. way. But I, I hadn't even realised that my foot was on it because we just I was just sat in a naturally comfortable position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the bench was sat there, so and it was only when you showed me the picture that I was like, oh my god, yeah. Um, that was horrible. And in the hotel room, that really shook us up. We really freaked out because we all heard it at the same time nobody said oh it says this we all heard it and we all said it said the same thing mm. and again we don't want to say that's 100 percent proof but to us that was terrifying and that definitely set the tone for what was happening and we were very nervous in the lead up to going back up yeah. there but nothing could have prepared us for what happened when we got there and i think just before we get to what happened when we got there to your point i think had we not had heard that uh on the recording yeah things may have been different when we had got the despite um, kind of what was there. Yeah, I definitely didn't want to go back into church because I did feel that even if it was humorous or angry, I felt funny about the fact that yeah. that happened because I felt like I had disrespected somebody. Yeah. So much so that we went back and we 
apologise to Dan, I apologise on Spiritbox and also I got a little bit of sound back then, it's not a voice but it sounds like a little bit of acknowledgement of my apology, um, which I guess we'll play now. We heard your message, um, if you accept our apology please do let us know now. If you accept our apology please do let us know now. Cool, so that's so we've done that. So that that was just a little bit of noise. We don't we don't know what that was. If you have any suggestions, you can let us know. But let's go back to what happened. So we got in the car. We're driving to the place, and this is where I said I'd, I'd give a little bit of more background of the area and things like that. And we're driving there. First of all, we missed our turning, so we had to stop. And um, and you said I think there's a car coming up behind us. And I've so I definitely saw a car basically coming down the road and I didn't say it in a dodgy way, it was just to let Tom know, look, hurry up and get in the car so we can move the car out of the way. Yeah. Uh, and then Tom looked up and he was like, there's there's no no car there, mate. Mm. Um, but then once we pulled out and round to go where we were, there was a car and it was following us and it was, well, it was behind us. It was only later that we realized it was following us. It was, it was a four by four and it was behind us and we turned into the, um, to the lane which led up to the woods and we we said we'd be very quiet and respectful because we didn't want to anger anything in the air which was very much the case yeah we got up we oh. decided to drive up to the top mm -hmm. got out of the car ready to film we said you know here we go it's time to go in mm -hmm. we got to the entrance and there there was the cross so the thing about the cross is right like it filled me with dread yeah like the, the equal argument was that look it could be someone playing a trick or whatever else and the, the, the go-to thing with someone playing a trick is kids, right? Yeah. Like realistically, an adult, are they really gonna spend their time going hee 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 hee? Yeah, if you chuck down across. It was too much. And it, we we had the same theme throughout the whole woods in terms of people that have made stuff, like the huts and what. It's too complex, like the way it was done, like the knots that you use, and I know that sounds stupid, but it was made so perfectly that a kid doesn't have the patience or necessarily skills yeah. to have done it. So, I definitely saw it as a warning sign. And then we, to Martin's point, like when he said that you all start arguing amongst yourselves and that maybe it's a paranoia, but there's something about that place that makes you argue. We started arguing loads. We did, yeah. More aggressive and kind of forceful than usual. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and not really listening to each other's points as mm. such. And then I think it was only you and I that heard it. There was like a weird, like I, I call it folk, folk music. Yeah. Uh, like that's what it sounded like to me. I thought it was more of a horn type sound, but it was very. It, it was almost like a medieval. It was like, like bang. It was like one second while we were jumping back in the motor to, yeah. to get to get going. And it was just the weirdest music that you'd expect to hear in like I don't know Lords of the Rings when they're dancing around. Yeah, it was quite Lords of the Rings. Yeah. Um, but for me that shit me up because it's like the typical music you associate in like yeah. a horror film that with that kind yeah. of culty. Uh, movement. Yeah. So that's when I was like, look, get in the car, we're going right so we now. Got so then we get down, we have our argument, we fall out. And we'd found that website earlier in the day, we thought we'd ring them and give them, and they didn't answer. So then we're like, no, we're going to leave it, we're going to come back tomorrow. And actually that seems to be the wisest decision, because when we came back, we saw that the bit, which we call the ritual bit, someone had been there, someone had mm. been doing something there overnight. So we definitely were right to not go in. And again, our argument initially was, look, it's probably just some kids. Yeah. But there's no kind of beer bottles, no like cigarettes or anything else that you'd expect to see. If kids were hanging if out. If kids in the were woods, hanging yeah. out. Instead, it was kind of tea candles, mm -hmm. um, electric or battery led. There was uh, one battery one, but the rest were all little tea like candles. And broken glass. Broken glass, and also like pens that had been snapped and like, yeah. like obviously using it as fuel. So. And it, and it wasn't like, the glass wasn't like a beer bottle because there was no, no like sticker in it. It was yeah. literally like a just smashed glass yeah. out of nowhere. It feels like, to me, to me, it felt like someone was in there doing it almost an amateur ritual or someone that, I'm not sure, but it wasn't, it felt like the cheapo's guide to yeah. satanic rituals, basically. But I, I, I think like, um, Martin touched on it, right? Generally, people with money will get do like the kind of satanic rituals or whatever rituals in like nicer places yeah. right so they'll be seen dead in the woods yeah, yeah. So, so to that point maybe yeah. it was someone that's not necessarily in that circle but wants to be involved yeah. we seem to be having these weird run-ins well the first um investigation we did at, um at minsden 
someone had been doing something very similar the day before. And so everything seems to be just lining up for us. But we've, we've gone off topic. So what I wanted to talk about was when we got in the car and we drove off, the same 4x4 four four mm -hmm. that had followed us into the road now started following us out yeah. of the area. And it followed us until we were a good four or five miles outside of mm. where... It was. And it wasn't just following us. It was following us and it was speeding right up and then slowing down. And then so at one, at right one point I was like, is he trying to overtake yeah, us? It like, was, yeah, it was, it was odd. It was, it was odd. It was terrible. Like you, you could blatantly see like in the mirrors that, yeah. like you said, the speed up, the slow down. It was like a proper warning, like yeah. pushing us out, like get um, out. Yes. So then we went back to the hotel and then we didn't really sleep. We were all pretty restless. But at two points in the night, we both saw something. And I saw in the far corner a clouded, shrouded figure. It almost like this is something that sounds really silly, but it looked like a man just in like a big hood. Like I literally, like that. that was the exact. No, we didn't. We haven't discussed it, what we saw yet. No. We just said we saw a figure. It was like a man, almost literally like, like when you see death, it looked like that with this mm. thing over, and he's in the far corner. And I thought, I'm just hallucinating. So I just literally shut my eyes back and tried to sleep. I literally saw it. Oh, mate, in the bed, chills. I literally put in the bed next to me, like standing between kind of our bed and your guys' bed, um, and I done the instant thing that anyone would do: duvet over their head and just <laughs> close your eyes back to sleep. That's funny because we didn't discuss what it looked like until no, just then. Yeah. That's really shouldn't give me goosebumps now. That's horrible. Um, but we went back this morning to see, um, and the cross was still there, which meant to us. Well, we, we didn't know what it meant, but the cross was still there. That so made we, us still, we still don't know what the cross means no. in general, right? Assumption is that it's either like a sign to fellow uh, uh, worshippers, I don't know what yeah. you call them, that look, this is the right way, follow the kind of yeah. cross, or it's a keep out, this is what's happening. Absolutely. The weird thing was, we went in it, it, when it was still there, when we came out, bear in mind, this is at 5... We got there. We left at four thirty a.m. So we got there about five ish. Um, there was no one there whatsoever. No we were the only car there. Anywhere we went, we were the only people there. But the cross had been moved. When we got back to the exit, the cross had been moved, and not moved like gone. Moved no. slightly. But that for me, he. This leads back into that like spirits of Trixie. We were there like, oh, what if it's moved and we come back and it had moved us slightly. Maybe that was a little joke played on us by a spirit that moved it. I don't know, because we didn't see anyone else. But that was a recurring theme. Everyone we came across in the woods, and we essentially did a big circle. We didn't see anyone else again. There was a man and his dog and his son, and he walked ahead of us by about 30 seconds, mm. and then we didn't see them again. And that kept happening. It was very strange. It's a very, very strange place, and I can't pinpoint one specific thing. Because we went in there today, we did three Ouija boards, we didn't get anything. What we did get though is Kat, who we hadn't told anything about our feeling or about Martin's warnings. She felt very sick, mm -hmm. she felt very headachy at one point, she was going to vomit. Yesterday you said you vomited in your mouth a tiny bit. Like, she was very, very unwell today. And that was the first time she'd stepped in because she came up to meet us yesterday in the evening and we didn't go in because of the cross. <sighs> We've been either very unlucky or very lucky with our, with our project text because, again, Minsden, we missed the... Um, we missed the thing probably by a day, maybe by a couple of hours. Yesterday, that happened to us, and we couldn't get hold of the the 24-hour occult emergency helpline that would come and help us. They just we couldn't get hold of them for mm -hmm. some reason. They so either we've been very lucky that someone actually is like making sure that the pieces are moved for us so that we don't come into danger, or we've just missed our shot at some absolute incredible investigative journalism. <laughs> yeah. But I think Clapham is definitely mysterious. Worth checking out. Definitely worth checking out. But be careful. And I would say roll in numbers. Yeah, be careful. Look after yourselves. And also, like we did the Ouija board. That was our first time doing one within this project. And we did, we did it three times and we got nothing. And I think if you're going with your friends, look out for each other and don't do that play tricks and don't do the yeah. moving the, the board or making people scared. Because once you have that energy and that paranoia, I think the woods, it for some reason, it. it does, it really moves that and I don't know maybe it's maybe it's just the way it's built is on some weird magnetic field that makes you feel sick and makes you turn on each other and gives you a headache and makes you shout at your best friends but <sighs> God. I don't know well listen I think that's uh, 
Oh, good yeah. place to end it. I think so. It was a well worth trip, but like, subscribe, comment. Yeah. Comment what you thought you heard. Um, on the EVP. On the EVP as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, and let us know where you want us to go next. Yeah, also, I would say one more thing for people to look out for is we've edited the video and we've watched it back and we keep spotting weird things in the background. Movements or just things that grab your eye away. And also there's a weird glow that appears. And that's quite bizarre. We, don't we, we won't tell you when or where, yeah. but just let us know in the comments if you see anything strange, because the paranoia is unreal, so it still might be playing on our minds. Yeah. Like, it could be a simple thing where the cameras just didn't focus properly or whatever else. So, yeah. if you see anything, comment and let us know. Can you stay here tonight? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping next to my dad.